Hey, this video is about how to add SVGs to your Elementor page and how to edit them from Adobe Illustrator so that they work properly. Oftentimes when you add an SVG to Elementor, the color won't change or there's something off with the sizing. So this uh, video will show you how to add it to Illustrator. And here are the icons from the home page. Um, one thing you want to make sure first off is that they're black. So zero 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 zero. And you also want to make sure that um, they're not in strokes. So when I say strokes, I mean like the icon wasn't designed uh, like like this. I can give an example here. Like that. See, strokes are yellow. So oftentimes you'll get icons from stock sites and the designer didn't actually expand it or um, complete it fully so it's left as strokes so that will be one issue that you'll you'll get um, so one way around that is I always like to expand my icons to begin with so object expand and if you've created your icons through fonts or typography or anything like that you're instead going to go to type create outlines. So now everything is together, it's not a stroke, and it's ready. So once you're ready to export it, you want to make sure the artboards are all the same size, so everything will be aligned and the spacing will be correct between all of them. I'm just going to double check the size of the airport. So that's 7 to 10. File, export, export as SVG export and from here you want to have these settings internal CSS SVG preserve unique and one click OK now let's go check it out see if it worked Yep, and I can change the color and the spacing and the size. So that's really helpful so you don't have to go back and forth between Illustrator and, and um, Elementor all the time. Let's do it for one more time. So again, we make sure everything's black. You don't want outlines like in this example, so you're going to expand. All the artboards are the same size, and now we're ready to export. And these are the settings. You might want to take a screenshot or write that down.
and it works. <clears throat> it looks great. Okay, and just one other tip, a really, really great icon place is called noundproject.com. Um, they have everything you could think of for an icon. So it's been very useful for me. I thought we'd share that with everyone. And if this video helped you, if you found it useful, please like and subscribe.